Hey Saberland, this is Salsver with Calvary Custom Sabers and I wanted to take a moment next couple of videos and just do a step-by-step -step tutorial of how I make lightsabers using the program Photoshop and the MHS Builder on the Custom Saber Shop forums and how I make renders to use when showing to clients or for personal design. My goal in this is that you'll be able to utilize this tutorial for whenever you want to submit a design to a smith as myself. Um, Bader's Vault, LDM Custom Savers, any of the great smiths out there. Um, so you can aid and more quickly go through that initial design process and so you're able to uh, be more efficient with their time and also have a better understanding of what you would like. So the program I'm going to be using is Photoshop CS4. Um, based on my understanding of the Elements programs, however, you should be able to use it with Elements. And um, I know GIMP is a freeware program and it does operate similarly to Photoshop. So these tools I'm showing you are going to be able to be utilized um, on a lot of different operating systems and programs. So you just need to know a little about the program that you're going to be using. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. This is going to be a super basic step-by-step -step tutorial from start to finish. So if you never have um, done this before, if you've never used the MHS Saber Builder or Photoshop or anything like that, this is for you. So here you can see I have the MHS Saber Builder pulled up on the Custom Saber Shop forums. And what I'm going to do is just select some parts that we're going to use for the base hilt. We have here oh, many, many, many blade holders to choose from that are all offered by Custom Saber Shop. And we're going to just choose blade holder 18. You can see that you're able to move it around. You have a nice little preview picture right there. Uh, let's grab an extension. This is a gear extension. And use these buttons to rotate it. Really simple and intuitive and easy program to learn and how to use. And we make a render very, very quickly. I'm going to turn off the thread hints just for better visual and seeing. Right there, I rotated, I flipped the reflection so it matched the actual hilt light pattern. We're going to move down back to extensions and grab a three inch. Throw that on here. Here you can see how much it's going to cost and the build length so far. I like to keep my build between uh, 10 and 13 inches. And we're going to go with a different pommel and render. We're going to go with this one. I think it looks a bit better. And so we're going to lock the parts, move it to the center like so. Now some cool things, once you have your base designs, you can look at the internal view and see what parts are open and what parts are not. So we've got room here and here and here. And the pommel is a nice wide open pommel. So that's your internal view. We're going to turn off the thread hints. And um, just so you know, there are lots of powder coating options up here for each part. I prefer to do the powder coating in Photoshop, but if you don't want to do that, you can just choose the powder coating you want. I'll be showing you how to color these parts momentarily. So now that we have the base hilt, something else we want to get is a long extension, and this is going to be our overlay piece. It's fairly important that you get this because it makes life a lot easier. We're just going to drag that here like so, and we're going to click Save Build, and continue. And sometimes what happens is the server does not respond, and if that doesn't happen, you can simply take a screenshot of the image itself, and uh, it's a lot simpler to download because you don't have the grid, but if you need to, you can screenshot your design if the server is not responding. So we have this here, we're just going to leave it Saber Render, we're going to replace the one I was messing with earlier, and we're done with that. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the desktop and we're going to open the Saber Render with Photoshop. And that's opening up, so we have it right here. And we're ready to begin editing. So whenever we come back to the second part of the tutorial, I'm going to show you how to separate the hilt from the background layers and how to begin working with overlays. So until next time, 
This is Saul's Fur, and thanks for watching.